STS-109 SM-3B was a space shuttle mission that launched from the Kennedy Space Center on the 1st of March 2002. It was the 108th mission of the Space Shuttle program, the 27th flight of the orbiter Columbia and the 4th servicing of the Hubble Space Telescope. It was also the last successful mission of the orbiter Columbia before the ill-fated STS-107 mission, which culminated in the Columbia disaster. The Hubble Space Telescope HST was placed in orbit during mission STS-31 on the 25th of April 1990. Initially designed to operate for 15 years, plans for periodic service and refurbishment were incorporated into its mission from the start. After the successful completion of the second planned service mission SM2 by the crew of STS-82 in February 1997, three of HST's six gyroscopes failed. NASA decided to split the third planned service mission into two parts, SM-3A and SM-3B. A fifth and final servicing mission, STS-125 SM-4 launched on of May 2009. The work performed during SM-4 is expected to keep HST in operation through 2014. Topic Crew Topic Spacewalks Topic Mission Highlights The purpose of STS-109 was to service the Hubble Space Telescope HST. It was Columbia's first flight following an extensive two-and-a-half-year modification period its most recent mission being STS-93. During the mission the crew installed a new science instrument, the Advanced Camera for Surveys AXE, new Rigid Solar Arrays SA3, a new Power Control Unit PCU, and an experimental cryocooler for the Near-Infrared Camera and Multi-Object Spectrometer NICMOS. Columbia also reboosted HST to a higher orbit. The STS-109 astronauts performed a total of five spacewalks in five consecutive days to service and upgrade the Hubble Space Telescope. The spacewalkers received assistance from their crewmates inside Columbia. Curry operated the shuttle's robot arm while Altman was her backup. Carey and Altman documented the EVA activities with video and still images. Accomplishments of the spacewalks included the installation of new solar arrays, a new camera, a new power control unit, a reaction wheel assembly and an experimental cooling system for the NICMOS unit. STS-109 accumulated a total of 35 hours, 55 minutes of EVA time. Following STS-109, a total of 18 spacewalks had been conducted during four Space Shuttle missions to service Hubble the others being STS-61, STS-82, STS-103 and STS-125 for a total of 129 hours, 10 minutes by 14 different astronauts. It was also the last successful flight of Columbia, as on its next mission, STS-107, it disintegrated on re-entry, killing all aboard. STS-109 is considered a night launch, as sunrise was at 6.47 am, and Columbia launched at 6.22 am Eastern Standard Time, 25 minutes before sunrise. Topic: 
See also List of human spaceflights List of Space Shuttle missions Outline of space science